Can you imagine a supercar that combines the power of an RS model with the elegance of a premium coupe and the flexibility of an SUV? That's gotta be awesome, right? Well, stay tuned because we got one. In today's video, we are discussing the Audi RS Q8 P780, latest from Mansory. Kindly stay tuned till the end of the video because it will blow your mind. Thanks. Let's check out the 2021 Audi RS Q8 Power Move. These large SUVs aren't just a trend. Customers have been shown that they are here to stay, and it's hard to blame them. They provide tremendous room, comfort, and performance in a single package. Audi's first performance SUV in the United States, the GLE 63S, may have been the first of its kind, but it isn't without precedent. It's powered by an 8-speed automatic transmission and delivers 591 horsepower and 590 pounds per foot of torque to all four wheels. An important aspect of the RSQ8's allure is it striking coupe-like styling. Bentley Bentayga and Lamborghini Urus are both powered by the same 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 under the hood. Are there better options out there like the BMW X6 M and Urus? The exterior of the RS Q8. LED headlights with an HD matrix design are standard and look amazing. They appear on either side of a big single frame grille with an elaborate RS specific honeycomb features and large air intake grills at the bottom of the front bumper. Additionally, a panoramic sunroof comes standard while the profile shows off 22 inch wheels with a 23 inch option available. LED taillights and dynamic turn signals are included in a full width LED configuration at the back. The oval tailpipes are housed in a faux diffuser that extends from the diffuser below each taillight, and a roof-mounted spoiler completes the design. RSQ8 Performance the RSQ8's 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 makes 591 horsepower and 590 pounds per foot of torque. The 8 speed automatic transmission distributes 40% of its power to the front wheels and the rest to the rear axle, allowing the vehicle to accelerate quickly. As a result, the front can receive up to 70% of the grunt, while the back can receive up to 86%. In addition, a mild hybrid system with regenerative braking and the ability to store 12 watts in the trunk battery is available. To maintain the integrity of Audi's powertrain, Audi claims that any more power on the rear axle would have been reined in. According to the manufacturer, the RSQ8 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. Still, the actual time is likely to be lower. The maximum speed is 155 miles per hour unless ceramic brakes are installed. In that case, it's only 190 miles per hour, just like the Urus. The RS Q8 clocked a time of 7 minutes and 42 seconds and 0.253 milliseconds at the Nürburgring, making it the fastest production SUV to have set foot on the track. Amazing! But the racer who set that time claims that even though the RS Q8 is nearly as fast as the Ferrari 458, he could have gone much faster. Even with a vehicle capable of towing 7,700 pounds, this is impressive. Incredibly, it doesn't even come close transmission and engine. For the RSQ8, there is only one engine and drivetrain configuration available. Whether you're accelerating from a dig or overtaking someone on the highway, the Audi RSQ8 is a beast. It feels more like a sports car than an SUV because it keeps pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. Even though it doesn't feel as good as a Ferrari Turbo V8, the throttle response is outstanding. It's only a matter of seconds before you're on the wrong side of the law if you bury your right foot. That's what 591 horsepower and 590 pounds per foot torque twin turbo V8 engine can do. Both the engine and transmission are outstanding. It's an 8-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission and shifts smoothly and precisely, reducing a ratio when needed and picking it back up almost as quickly. The box will gladly comply with your every request if you use the manual paddles behind the steering wheel to take control. A full-blown performance automobile would often have RS1 1 and RS2 specific drive modes, which allows you to fine tune the throttle and transmission mapping to suit your driving style. Perceptions of driving and handling. For example, the RS Q8 has an adaptive air suspension that can be fine tuned exactly like the throttle and transmission settings. Everything tightens up when you're in a corner, giving you a flat level ride that feels unreal for a vehicle of this size. The standard all wheel steering system has a role to play since it improves your turning circle at low speeds and heightens stability at higher speeds and the rear differential. RS Q8 proves that small size and low center of gravity aren't the end all 
be all of handling in today's automotive world. The RSQ8 is quite forgiving, absorbing bumps and blemishes with relative ease. It will naturally stiffen in more aggressive modes, but not to the point where driving becomes uncomfortable. As for the stopping power, the SUV's regular brakes do an excellent job of slowing it down and are easy to modulate, but the carbon ceramic brakes are much better. Interior of an RSQ8 the RSQ8 is yet another example of a car with a modern, beautiful, and ergonomic cabin that Audi is known for. There are, however, few physical buttons and knobs, which may annoy people who prefer them. An 8.0-inch touchscreen controls the temperature control system, a 10.1-inch touchscreen controls the infotainment system, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen displays the driver information. The seats in the front of the vehicle are powered, heated, and ventilated. However, massage is an option for an additional fee. This is exactly what you'd expect from a luxury SUV that costs more than $100,000, with a high quality interior that looks fantastic and has the most up-to-date technology. Interior space and seating. The RSQ8 can accommodate five people, but the middle passenger on the back bench will need to be significantly smaller than the average American. Although the outboard seats can accommodate adults, the headroom and legroom are less than ideal. Aside from the rear quarters, the view out the front is outstanding in most directions. There's plenty of adjusting flexibility up front, however the seats are comfy and supportive, especially when accelerating through turns at high speeds. So don't anticipate much better from competitors if you're looking for a coupe-shaped SUV. The RSQ8 comes standard with quilted Volcana leather accented with express red or rock gray stitching. Cognac brown leather with granite gray stitching is also available with an option for black stitching. Carbon fiber is the standard finish for the trim panels, but gray oak wood can be used if desired. Red contrast stitching would go well with the red in the room because it doesn't cost any extra money. The RSQ8 Cargo and Trunk Area Suppose you can't back up your practical supercar with adequate cargo room. In that case, there's no point defending it to your significant other. It's a good thing that the RSQ8 has 30.5 cubic feet of cargo space when the rear seats are folded down, reducing the rear seat's volume to a whopping 60.7 cubic feet if you need additional room is possible. BMW's X6M, on the other hand, only has 27.4 and 59.6 cubic feet of storage space respectively. Large pockets can be found on all four doors, and the middle armrest on the front row has a handy glove box and a pair of cup holders. The center console has a place to put your phone as well. Center armrest storage and cup holders are also provided for the back seaters. RSQ8's technology and features are simply mind-blowing. Like previous Audi models, the RSQ8 is not lacking in technology. Adaptive air suspension, all-wheel steering, hill descent control, a 12.3-inch driver info display, a heated steering wheel, and heated and ventilated power front seats are standard equipment in the SUV's base trim. It also comes with LED headlights with an HD matrix design. Additionally, it comes equipped with a 360-degree camera system, panoramic sunroof, blind spot monitoring, a rear cross traffic alert as well as ambient lighting cruise control front and rear parking sensors and an 8.6 inch touchscreen display for controlling the four zone automatic climate control system adaptive cruise control traffic with jam assists heated rear seats a heads-up display power soft closed doors massaging front seats power rear sun blinds lane keep assist a night vision camera and traffic sign recognition are all available as add-on features a 17 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also included in the RSQ8's standard infotainment system with a big 10.1 inch touchscreen display. An additional 23 speaker 3D surround system from B&O can be purchased if you need more power. The MMI Navigation Plus includes natural voice control processing as a standard feature. However, you can configure it and the system works flawlessly and is straightforward. It's a another feather in this car's already impressive cap. 
How safe is the RSQ8? The RSQ8 has not received a full review from the NHTSA, but the 2020 model received 4 out of 5 stars in its rollover evaluation. A perfect score of 5 stars was achieved by the standard Q8. The RSQ8 hasn't been rated by the IIHS, which isn't unusual for a vehicle of this price. However, the 2020 Q8 received a top safety pick award and was ranked well. Blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, front and rear parking sensors, a surround view camera, lane departure warning, HD matrix design LED headlamps, hill descent control, and frontal and side impact, overhead rollover, and curtain airbags are all standard in the 2021 RSQ8. Preparation for frontal collision is also included. It's possible to add adaptive cruise control, a heads-up display, a night vision camera, lane keep assist, and traffic sign recognition to the RSQ8 if you're ready to pay additional money. Thanks for watching the video and kindly subscribe to the channel, like and leave a comment saying I subscribed and I'll personally reply to your comment.